Hi, I'm Miss Shelley, and welcome to my science show. Now, I've always been pretty fashionable, but today is a super exciting day because I've been selected to be on the cover of a really fancy magazine. And I thought, since we already had the lights set up anyways, it would be the perfect opportunity to talk to you about how light affects our world. I'm ready for my close-up. Light is all around us and it illuminates everything we see. Darkness is the absence of light and without light, you can't see anything at all. Hey, uh, we're trying to film. Can you turn the lights back on? Sweet, thank you. One of the really cool things about light is how it interacts with different objects. So let's get a behind the scenes shot going so we can see how these lighting professionals manipulate the light. Transparent objects let almost all the light through. This is important for things like driving, when you don't want to get wet from the rain, but you need to be able to see where you're going. Translucent objects let some of the light through. These objects are great for helping you control how much light you let in, like when you're manipulating the light in a photo shoot, or helping you see when it's sunny outside. Opaque objects stop the light completely. These are great for blocking out the sun in the morning so you can sleep in, or for helping create dramatic effects. Shadows are formed when light is blocked by an opaque object. This can make you look moody and cool. No, 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 we already did that. Or help you find some shade when it's hot and sunny outside. Light travels in a straight line unless it is reflected or bounced in another direction. Reflective objects are smooth and shiny, and this allows you to control the direction of the light without having to move your light source. All right, I'm loving the episode, but we gotta get the magazine this photo. You ready for it? Okay, I'm ready. You got it, let's go. I'm ready for my cover girl moments. Wonderful, looking great, here we go. 